Are you a healthcare self-advocate? You may get all your vaccinations and see your doctor for every recommended checkup, but are you really in charge of your health? To be a true healthcare self-advocate, you need to make your own decisions, take an active role in your care, and stand up for your rights. Learning to self-advocate will make you a more confident healthcare consumer. It will ensure that every provider who treats you, from your dentist to your podiatrist, honors your wishes and values. If you do it right, you'll even save time and money. Ready to learn how to self-advocate? Follow these steps. Unless you've been through medical school, trying to understand health conditions can be really confusing. Doctors use big words like atherosclerosis and hypoglycemia, and they may not always have time to explain. Become an expert in your own health. Read everything you can about the conditions that affect you. Stick to reputable sources like the CDC, NIH, universities, and hospital websites. Avoid .com sites and definitely don't take health advice from social media. Read up on your treatment options and their possible side effects. Then you'll be able to communicate better with your doctor. Take good notes. Keep records of all the medicines you take, your test results, doctor's recommendations, vaccination and surgery history, and allergies. Share this information with each new doctor you see. Dig into your family tree. Find out whether any relatives have high blood pressure, cancer, heart disease, or other conditions. If they do, get screened to protect yourself. A medical visit isn't the time to be the silent type. Your doctors can't help you if they don't know what's going on. Bring a notepad with a list of symptoms and questions to discuss. Time in the exam room can be short. Start with your biggest concerns. Be open and honest about how you feel, even when something seems embarrassing. No matter what you have, chances are your doctor has seen it. Take notes. If you want to focus on the visit, bring along a partner, family member, or friend to do it for you. They can also remind you if you forget anything and help advocate for you. If your doctor recommends a new test or treatment, ask lots of questions. Why do I need this? How will it help me? How much will it cost and will my insurance cover it? What side effects could it cause? What are my alternatives? What are the risks if I do or don't have it? If you see more than one doctor, let each one know what the others are doing to treat you. Don't assume they talk to each other. Before you leave the office, make sure you understand what you're supposed to do. Write down any instructions on taking your medicine or following new treatments. This will help you remember and give you a written record of your visit. Doctors are problem solvers. They find out what's wrong with you and then figure out how to treat it. But they can't do that until they get the diagnosis right. You can help with the medical sleuthing by finding out what tests you need and then which treatments are available to you. Use a team approach to problem solving. Ask friends, family members, your partner, and other healthcare providers for help if you feel like you're not getting the right solutions. Once you have a diagnosis and treatment plan, don't create new problems. Stick with it and be proactive about your health in general by eating right, exercising, not smoking, and getting all of your recommended screening tests and vaccines. Doctors are smart, but they don't always know everything or what's best for you. If the recommended treatment doesn't seem right, get a second opinion. If you have any problems with the treatment you're on, including side effects, speak up. And if your doctor says you have no options left, push back. Ask about alternative therapies or clinical trials. Once you start taking charge of your own care, you'll be amazed at how empowered and healthy you'll feel.